yes the big c is it christ corona or covid everyone welcome again to my channel thank you for always tuning in i really do appreciate you all happy new year to every one of you my new subscribers thank you for making the decision to press that button happy new year to you my old subscribers happy new year to you i hope you had a wonderful christmas celebration and a happy new year celebration as well guys this is my very very first video this year 2021 and we're going to be having a chat guys from my thumbnail you already know that we're going to be talking about the big c i know you're all wondering big c covid corona christ what is this all about i'm going to talk all about this in my vlog today and also we're going to be talking about um our mood board as well i usually do this um every year but for the past two years i haven't done it at all and i was going to do it last year but i think i left it too late and then corona took over okay so now let me start with um the mood board this year usually what i do and you know what you all have seen online is uh, what people do is i get a board and then i stick on it it's like a collage piece of uh, collection i stick on it things i plan to achieve that year it could be um absolutely anything i get a if i see something in the magazine that i like that i want to buy or try out or just do something about it or explore it could even be places i want to travel to i rip that part up and stick it on my board that's what i used to do but this year i was thinking i'm going to do something different and turn things up and um, in my kitchen i have boards notice board where i stick things on about children's school or stuff i don't want to forget and i have this spare board that was given to me a while ago it's a black board but it's in the cake form and it's just hanging there without me using it for anything and i thought you know what i'm going to do something really different this year i'm going to it's not a new year resolution for me it's something i would like to achieve something i like to do so it's not really something that I want to change or um, set of rules I want to set up for me. It's just things I'd love to do or maybe achieve this year. I like to put them here and work towards achieving them. So that's what I'm going to do with this board this year. And hopefully before I finish my chat with you, I will have written one or two things down that I'm going to share with you guys. So guys, um, I will quickly move on to the big C I was talking about. Now, when you hear the big C, I heard this from a friend. When they said the big C, they spoke to me I'm like the big C. Actually, C is the uh, word, the the letter that practically ruled the whole of 2021. Corona, COVID. Those are the two words we heard all through um, 2021. And I and I and I thought I was going to add one more, which is Christ. And by the time I go into this, you will see where this C stands. Okay, let me start with the C. The the C for corona and covid the whole of last year when we hear of corona when we have covid you know there's a lot of concern which is another c there's a lot of concern as in this is this there's a concern about what is what covid is causing to, i mean what is happening to people people are dying people are getting it it's spreading really fast it has put the whole whole world into um into a situation where everything had to be stopped it has been catastrophic that's another c you know looking at covid covid has been catastrophic all over the world and it, it has caused a lot of conflicts as well take for example in the uk where i live it has caused a lot of um um conflict among government decision making you know even conflict among um uh, organizations government and the people because government are not making decisive decisions for people to follow so that has also been you know really catastrophic like i said before and also there's been a lot of conspiracy theory you know imagine from this coronavirus thingy uh, some people are like it's not true it's not real some people are like it's real 
some people feel it's something a disease that was cooked up in the lab and was released and all kinds of people with all kinds of theory all kinds of um, uh, propaganda all kinds of things about this and also looking at the word c under corona i would say careless a lot of people have been careless about about this as well because some people don't believe it and even some people that believe they've been careless they're not listening to rules and regulations like when the government said don't do this like take for example last summer a lot of people went to the beach to the beach when they shouldn't and even when government made rules about um people not seeing their family for a while or not going to the homes to see their parents and people still went against that even some celebrities are the parties when they're not supposed to do that and they just damn all consequences just because you know it's that they don't believe it or i think the interesting one is people that says you know what people are going to die of something anyway so whether it's corona or not people are still going to die so let's just live life the way it should be lived but i just think if everyone is cautious enough that's another c and um we follow the rules and regulations i think we'll be able to handle this pandemic better and it will go away faster that's my own thinking even though some people don't think like that but i think if we all are careful and um, we listen to the simple rules and everyone does what the government wants i think we'll be able to manage this covid quickly but everyone has a right to their own decision or whatever they want to do so we're just hoping that this year 2021 we'll be able to put a stop to this um, pandemic and everyone can move on and we'll forget about the sea war corona and corona can remain a drink again i will not worry about <laughs> corona you know and uh, yeah the other sea i like to touch on is christ you know in this pandemic period this commotion of yeah that's another c this commotion of corona and covid i think if we have christ in our life it will help calm our anxiety and our nerves towards you know this the the the, the catastrophe that this corona is causing and also um when we have christ in this situation to be a lot more comforting for us to know that you know god will guide us against this um corona also if we look if we have christ if we if we take the sea world christ and we take christ as our counselor it will cancel us through this period and another sea word i like to use com compassionate you know god will show us christ will show us compassion at this time because it's a caring god he will care for us at this time and also just like i said careless under corona i also want to touch on careful that's another c if you are careful if you follow the rules and regulations as in keeping a distance keeping away from people and um washing our hands using all the unnecessary procedures a mask um antibacteria and all that gel if you're doing all this and you know as much as possible keeping away from everything we need to keep away from i think we will all be we will all be safe and we can get rid of this disease quickly and i tell you christ will be you know he's a canopy of us it will be a canopy of us that's another c if um we do things right even the bible says everyone helps those who help themselves you know if we help ourselves and take necessary step against this pandemic then we'll all be fine it's easier said than done but i believe rules are there for a reason and if people can follow these rules life would be a lot better i know you guys are wondering why i'm going on and on about this the first sunday of um this year but i just i feel it's important we take this seriously this covid seriously so that life can return back to normal you know those of you that follow me on instagram or facebook or whatsapp any of my social media you will see that the last day of the week i just kind of throw it all the way back thinking about things i've not been able to do the end of 2020, uh, 2020 and i really miss them a lot of things we take for granted i miss hugging my friends i miss going out with my friends i miss going on a holiday i miss going to um rejoice with friends i miss going to parties i miss going out for a drink with my friend i miss going for a walk with my i miss everything you know things we take for granted this c words actually made us realize how important all these things are you know to us and um 
and we really need a lot of this in our life you know and uh, this c word this big c word i won't call it a big now because i would like to refer to christ as the big c word and corona as a small c word and um we are allowing the corona c to actually be bigger than it is and that's because we are not um, following the rules and doing the right thing and i believe if, if we can all do that then this 2021 will be a glorious year if we don't allow um um corona or covid to lead us you know because corona practically pervaded so many of so many aspects of our lives in 2020 and i'm sure we won't want that to happen to us in this 2021 2021 is going to be an adventure and um, we hope and pray is a very good adventure too we hope that this year 2021 there will you know um we will we as human will be able to put a stop to the spread of coronavirus and there will be um a cure there's nothing impossible you know we have the uh, vaccines now even though there are a lot of um stories behind that as well and a lot of people are yet to make the decision whether they will take it or not i'm not going to say anything about that but everyone has the right to their own decision and um, I just hope that 2021 will be a better year for each and every one of us. And it will be a COVID-free year. We won't have to think about the small C's anymore. We'll always think about the big C, which is Christ. And we'll focus on him because he's going to see us through this adventure 2021. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Okay. So now I'll go back to um, my mood board, guys. So this year, 2021... I really love things to, you know, I'm not sure if you've seen this well. This is looking backwards already. I hope you've seen it well. So what I'll do really is just write a list of things I, I would love to do this 2021. I've written that I'd like to read more. Yeah. I really like to read more books this year. And also I would like to develop my business a lot more. Those of you that have been seeing my other videos, I have a an online snack shop called more foods and snacks you can check it out uh, i plan to develop it more this year 2021 and also on my regular job i'd like to also um um continue with my self-development and uh, work more on my knowledge on how to do better work i'm going to do that so and also this year this might sound selfish in fact i should have put that as number one i'm going to um do a lot of self-care i only take care of myself really as in apart from when i go for massages every now and then you know i only spoil myself saying i'm going to the spa you know or actually take good care of my skin i just i'm a i'm very basic when it comes to taking care of my skin you know, I just use just any soap and that's it. I don't even take care of my face. I just wash the makeup off. I think I said that in one of my videos. But I want to change that now because a lot of my friends have advised me that when you start getting to a particular age, it's very important to take care of yourself, your skin in particular, which I've not been doing that. So I, I plan to take good care of my skin this year. I plan to care for my skin, my body this year. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. So right now, Together, you and I, we've written four points here. I've written that I'm going to read more. I'm going to develop my online business. I'm going to um, improve myself. And I'm also I'm also planning to do a lot of um, self-care, body care, care for my, my body, my container that contains my spirit and soul. I'm going to take good care of it more this year. So, guys, I just wanted this 20, my very first video this year to be like that it's something i can chat with something we can you know think about together what is happening and you know i hope for the future i don't want it to be like more of a new year resolution i want to do this i want to do that. i don't want to set that for myself i just want to take each step as it comes because nobody knows what 2021 has in stock for us and we're hoping it to be a better year than 2020 so at this point guys i'm going to stop and i'll come back next week sunday with something even more interesting than this i hope you've learned a thing or two with my uh the big c's i've discussed and also my mood board as well i hope you've been able to learn one or two things from me today 
and um, yes I hope you like my new intro as well yeah just trying to change everything up this year so I think I'm going to stop here guys for now if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please do subscribe and support me this year let's grow this channel together and um, communicate with me interact with me let me know what you're enjoying about this channel and what more you want to see lord and uh, what more you want to see guys lord where did that come from <laughs> anyway let me know what else you want you know the things you'd like me to do more on this channel so guys in my next vlog video there it's bye for now thanks for listening bye guys <laughs>